Despite a chilly day in Strasbourg, fever and excitement as people clamoured outside to get a glimpse of a special guest. Cheers from the crowd and a warm handshake from President Martin Schulz greeted Pope Francis on arrival. Outside, the flag of the Vatican City was hoisted above the Parliament. Ushered indoors, bishops, cardinals and vice-presidents all lined up to shake the hand of the Holy Father. Touching upon the visit of Pope John Paul II 26 years ago, when Europe was divided by an iron curtain, Pope Francis talked of a Europe that had lost its way. Persistono fin troppe situazioni in cui gli esseri umani sono trattati come oggetti, dei quali si può programmare la concezione, la configurazione e l'utilità e che poi possono essere buttati, buttati via quando non servono più. The treatment of non-Europeans was something that weighed on his mind. Non si può tollerare che il mar Mediterraneo diventi un grande cimitero. Europe had to regain lost values. È giunta l'ora di costruire insieme l'Europa che ruota non intorno all'economia, ma intorno alla sacralità della persona umana, dei valori inalienabili. Le parole di Papa Francesco siano un incoraggiamento di altissimo livello per tutti i cittadini che desiderano un'Europa delle persone e dei popoli e non soltanto della tecnocrazia. The Pope's words, it seemed, also had a profound effect on MEPs. He wants the EU to express solidarity. At the moment, member states are doing very little. And for the familiar faces of those who had once walked the corridors of Parliament, they had these words. For me, it was extraordinary. A moment extraordinary. For a president du centre droit, je crois que même moi, j'ai reçu aussi une piqûre de rappel. Et surtout, surtout un encouragement de continuer dans cette voie et dans cette direction. But not all were happy. I was expecting something more concrete. Je ne veux entendre parler d'aucune sorte de prêtre, d'aucune sorte de religion dans un hémicycle. Pour le reste, chacun a le droit à sa foi et cela doit être respecté. Regardless, others saw it as a springboard to wider representation of views at the Parliament. For me, it's uh, totally normal that uh, someone who represents so many people in Europe, that he has the possibility to speak here. And in the space of a few hours, the Pope had left. Hopefully it won't be another 26 years before we see a Pope again.